under the clip menu, down here in the middle, you have this option called clip loop, or just loop under the clip menu. Right? Loop dot dot dot, and the keyboard shortcut is option, command, and the letter L. So the clip looping command, um, it kind of fills in all of the missing gaps when you're dealing with musicians. Right? Um, and you don't have to worry about all this crazy math stuff because it gives you options of how many repetitions you're gonna do of this and, and loop this clip after itself. So you can do a total number, which is kind of great. It's not an additional number like repeat was where it's eight or five on top of the one that's there that this number includes the one that's there. So if all you need to do is replicate an audio clip or MIDI clip or a video clip a certain number of times, like I need seven of these to exist end to end. So total number of loops seven, and on screen it winds up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total versions of that clip. You can also just give it a specific loop length, meaning like, all right, However long this thing is, one measure, half a measure, a quarter note for all I care, or eight measures long or four measures long, and it will fill in the gap until it reaches 48 total measures of length. So that way, once again, you're not having to do all this math that goes along with the normal copy and paste of the original selection. And what we want to do is we want to take this loop and we want it to just actually fill in all of the amount of time, however much it is, I, I don't even know numerically, but all the amount of time until the very next clip happens on screen. So you just select the one that you want to loop, and then you can go to loop until end of session or next clip. And then it just sees and looks on the track and it's like, oh, okay, I'll just fill in the gap as much as I need to. It could be for minutes, it could be for hours, or it could be for a couple of measures until it sees the next clip on, on that track. They've taken this whole entire thing, that whole window, and they've made it into a tool. So what they did is they embedded that clip loop command into the trim tool. So you can either you know, click and hold on the tool, or you can right click on the tool, or you can hit F6 on the keyboard to cycle through the tools. But when you do, down at the bottom of the trim uh, tool drop-down menu, you've got the trim loop tool. Right? So this doesn't trim the actual clips like normal, where it would actually cut the ends towards the middle. This literally does that clip loop command just by clicking and dragging and drawing like a paintbrush. Click and drag. Click and drag, and just draw it in for as long as you want. Shorten it as long as you want, not have to use a menu to do anything, actually, and just use the tool and you can draw in or paint in that part for as long as you need.